is a presentation of Fox Sports. We are Blackboard. We are LA. Needless to say, but it has been a tough homestand to start. The tough series against the Texas Rangers. The Angels against Seattle have dropped the first two and looking to salvage the final game of this three game set this evening here at the Big A's. We welcome you inside the ballpark and back to Angels baseball on Fox Sports West along with Mark Gubisa. I'm Victor Rojas. Now uh, we saw a very good pitching performance last night. I, I actually let me rephrase that a great pitching yes. performance by Taiwan Walker complete game shutout and picking up the victory and today they face another right hander in Hisashi Iwakumu who's had some success against the Angels. I mean think about it, he's had a lot of success against the Angels the reason why he's had a, a lot of success against the two best hitters on this Angel team Mike Trout Albert Bulls have really struggled a combined 175 batting average with his three home runs nine RBI the big thing that jumps out though is 22 strikeouts for the two against Iwakuma. he's got them to chase that split finger fast ball down and away just enough fastballs inside and he goes away on a number of pitches even his slider has been very effective against those two. Well, Tyler Skaggs was slated to get the start he got scratched last night with forearm tightness. Jaleesha seems on the mound and if he's going to stop this lineup for the Seattle Mariners it all starts with Nelson Cruz. Uh, Nelson Cruz has had unbelievable success in his whole career against the Angels but in this season alone he's really hit the ball exceptionally well nine home runs 15 RBI against the Angels. Bottom line is anything on the inner part of the plate he has hit very hard and out of the ballpark Nine, 19 hits overall but it's at nine home runs Shasheen has to worry about and make sure he goes down the way he's got that good little two seamer go down and away and also his slider stay away stay down use the big part of the yard against Nelson Cruz tonight. Well, we'll see if the Halos can pick up this final game of the three game set and send Seattle on its merry ways we're just about ready for baseball here at the Big A sit back relax gonna bring you the lineups in the first pitch when we return.
game three of the final uh, or of this three game set against the Seattle Mariners the final game of the series of course is uh, Philly Chassin's already getting his warm-up pitches done so we will quickly take a look at Scott Service's lineup for the Seattle Mariners playing in their 146 games still nine and a half back in the American League West with a 77 and 68 record in a very similar lineup especially in the top five with Aoki Smith Cano Cruz and Seager at third base Vogel back is the first baseman Leonis Martinez center Chris Iannetta tonight behind the plate and Marte batting ninth playing shortstop they are taking on Chassin pitching at his 26th ball game making his 14th start as an angel four and six this year for the 5.69 ERA. I think the trust really for his two seam fastball should be very very important for him his slide has been very good my go to is for Chassin to be successful is be careful that first pitch we know that Seattle likes to jump on that first pitch and that's the pitch for Chassin he's had a tough time as far as the power swing and work that outer half of the plate throughout the entire game work down and away use the big part of the field against this dangerous lineup quickly take a look at the defense for the halos tonight Ortega Trout and Calhoun from left to right the infield with Escobar Pennington Petit and Crone Simmons once again out and Juan Gratterall tonight getting the start behind the plate and Gratterall making his first career start at the major league level 527 games in the minor leagues over 11 seasons what a thrill this must be for Gretel to get that first major league start down in triple a throughout it just about 35 percent of would be base dealers first start for uh Chassin since August 21st against the Yankees made uh, three consecutive starts Cleveland Seattle New York last four appearances out of the bullpen first one tonight in for a strike Norio Oki hitting 272 with three home runs and 22 runs batted in Jolice, a guy that works very quickly. As a count, even up at one and one. Defense uh, against the left fielder. Okay, last night, two for three. A single, a home run, and a walk. This one lifted out to shallow right field. Cole coming in on it. Three pitches and one out. Seth Smith, the right fielder. Smith's had one hit in this series, and it was a big one last night, a grand slam in the sixth inning off of Mike Morin. 14th home run. 55 runs batted in. It doubled up the score last night. Went from 4 nothing to 8 nothing, and it stayed that way as the Angels picked up a total of three hits. Seattle had 10. Scored the Angels 16 to 1 through the first two games of the series. And one thing we saw a lot of up in Seattle, the Angels scoring early, especially in the first inning. Not been the case so far in this series. Seattle's pitched the ball very well. <laughs> 262 average for Smith. It would have been a much different looking lineup had Skaggs made his start. Probably would have said Franklin Gutierrez in this spot. Down low. Two balls, two strikes. Of course, uh, when we saw the news last night, tightness in the forearm for Tyler Skaggs. You start to worry, especially after missing so much time. But the uh, ligament's fine. More of a precautionary thing. And Smith will go down looking for out number two. What excellent movement on that two seam fastball. The trust on that pitch. Sheen needs that tonight. A lot of movement on that one. See where this pitch starts at the knee and then brings it back and catches the inside corner with a lot of late movement at 92. Two quick outs. Robinson Cano will step to the plate. Taking the whole way. And there's times where Cano will just look like he's just automatically going to take that first pitch. But we saw that last night. The second at bat was ready to swing.
Robinson hitting 299, 33 home runs, 87 RBIs. It is 33rd two nights ago. That one's off the plate. Two balls and a strike. What he's watching Gratterall behind the plate. Very good as far as framing pitches. Not a lot of movement. Keeps that target out there. Frames it well. Two balls, two strikes. Halos have just retired the side in order against Seattle three times for the first two games. That's it. A lot of base runners in the first two games. There's Tyler Skaggs watching on right now. Would have been his start tonight. Did get some good news though after the MRI. May or may not be on the mound at some point by the end of the year. Billy Upper said today about six, seven days. Just let it quiet down and go from there. Tyler told me earlier today though he feels really good about what he found out about that MRI. Three two count with two outs. Breaking ball. It's pulled foul. Had him out in front. Another 3 2. This one's popped up. Escobar backing up into the outfield grass will put it away as the Mariners go down in order. We'll head to the bottom of the first with no score. Trailing force just seen to start this one off. We'll check out Mike's social's lineup. Game number 145 for the Halos. They will have Escobar leading things off in third. Calhoun in right. Trout in center. Pujols at DH. CJ Curl at first. Rafael Ortega getting the start at left. Cliff Pennington the shortstop. One Gratterall behind the plate. And you get Petit at second base as they take on the uh, Japanese native by the name of Hisashi Iwakuma. I think he's 30th start of the season tonight. Yeah, he will not overpower you with fastball velocity. It'd be spots of all 86, 89. Slider, cut fastball, curveball, split finger fastball. Like he's though against Iwakuma. Power a must. When he makes the mistakes, he will give up a home run, 26 of them. And bring those pitches up. Don't chase that split finger fastball below the knees or fastball or cut fastball below the knees.
Escobar takes inside for ball one. You now hitting 317 with four home runs, 35 RBIs. 0 for 4 last night. The Angels manages three singles off of Taiwan Walker. Calhoun, Nick Buss, and Albert Pujols. One of one. That's kind of the zone you want to bring the fastball up against Iwakuma. Escobar's had a lot of success against him. Eight for 17. Breaking ball line to center, but Martin comes in and makes the catch. He plays a somewhat shallow center field. And that sinking liner, he got that glove between the, the baseball and the uh, grass. Yeah, that baseball was hit very well by Escobar. I mentioned those numbers he's had against him. Just gets that before it hits that outfield grass. If it gets by him, that's a triple. Hit very well by Yunel Escobar once again. There's Cole Calhoun. One for three last night with a single. We'll take just low. Pretty decent numbers against Iwakuma for Cole. Nine for 33, 273 batting average, but two home runs. Two balls, no strikes. Iwakuma 15 at 11 with a 3.96 ERA. 179 at two third innings. 130 strikeouts, 39 walks. Overall, a pretty good season for a guy who had uh, failed a physical on his way to signing with the Dodgers. Became a, a free agent again, if you will. And re sign with Seattle. Don't see him throw many baseballs out of the strike zone. 3 0 count here to Cole Calhoun. Very much always around the strike zone. There's a four pitch walk. And that's something that Taiwan Walker did not do any of that last night till late. Was there any base runners? My Hyundai key for this game going a little Pink Floyd, a little us and them to be able to beat Seattle here tonight, especially with Shasheen getting the start. Bullpen is going to be needed, so you're going to use the entire team to be able to beat them, and that being the Seattle Mariners. Team effort, offense, and a strong bullpen here tonight. Child hitless last night, 0 for 3 with three strikeouts against Taiwan Walker. Third career complete game for Walker, matching a career high 11 strikeouts. Well, he was really, really good last night. His balance over the pitching rubber, probably the best stuff I've seen from him at the major league level. Curveball was outstanding. Splitter was great. Fastball command. Downstairs, nice block by Zanino. Cole stays at first base. Trout's average at 319 with 27 home runs, 89 runs batted in. 319 average, still good for third in the American League. Altuve at the start of the day leading the way at 340. Pedroia at 332. Just missed it. Two one count. Speaking of Altuve, the Astros leading Texas. The bottom of the seventh was 5-1, but Texas has scored twice. And they're they, stalking. And they've been coming back against them at will this entire season. Pretty good, pretty good action count here now for the Angels. 2-1 count with one out. Iwakuma has allowed eight stolen bases in 12 attempts. Two on. Laid on it, fouls it into the seats. Two and two. Also, uh, in that game, the Astros 
Jose Altuve left tonight's game due to a right oblique discomfort. A big blow to them. Calhoun with well, a one-out walk stands at first. That's a very difficult one and a long-lasting injury. Two two. Little roller toward third. Seeger gonna go to second base and they get Calhoun. Round number two. That's the big reason why Ibukum has been very good against Trout. We talked about that split finger fastball and slider away, but he's been able to run the two seamer in on Trout very effectively after Trout looks away. Runs that one in and Seeger gets the force out just barely at second. Two outs and a man on. Here's Albert. Had a hit last night. Snapped it 0 for 21 with that single in the seventh inning. On the corner for a strike, Albert hitting 262 with 29 home runs, 110 runs batted in. One ball, one strike. Two and one. Early on, Kuma not consistent in the strike zone. 15 pitches thrown, only six of them have been strikes so far. Generally very effective in the strike zone. About 62% pitches in the strike zone as far as the highest strike percentage in baseball. That's seventh best. Not so far here in the first. Breaking pitch, and this is lifted out toward left center field, towering shot. It'll stay in the ballpark, however. And Norioki will put it away for the third out. We will head to the second with no score.
Cold Hard Facts, which are brought to you by Clean and Crisp Coors Light. Nelson Cruz, 37 career home runs against the Angels, second amongst active players. Adrian Beltre with 40. Talked about him in the opening, having nine this season, but 37 of them in his career for Nelson Cruz against the Angels. 27 average on the year, 36 home runs and 91 RBIs. Takes a strike. Made on this one. One and two. Jacine had himself a one, two, three first, including a strikeout. It's that danger zone. You can see Cruz upset with himself. He had a pitch to do some damage. Middle part of the plate and elevated. He's had a tough time with pitches away, especially down and away. Another one, two. This is a chopper towards short. Pennington to his left. One down. You see him making his 19th start of the season. That's combined between the Angels and the Braves. But better out of the bullpen. 6.21 ERA as a starter this season. 3.77 out of the pen. Last appearance a couple of days ago against Texas. Went two innings, gave up a run. Seeger takes a strike. Third baseman comes in batting 288, 28 home runs. 92 runs batted in. Hitless last night, but did draw a walk. This is off the end of the bat to shallow center field. Pennington got a good jump on it, and we'll put it away for round number two. Good off speed pitch. If folks host a business function or celebrate a special occasion in your own private suite at Angel Stadium, Sweet Rentals offer all inclusive food and beverage packages. Visit angels.com slash sweets for more information. And you better hurry. Better hurry, Google. Better hurry. What is it, 10 games left here at home? Four against the Blue Jays, yep, three against the A's, and three against the Astros. Exactly. You were good at math in school, weren't you? Added that up quickly. Yeah. A one count on uh, Volkovac. His major league debut two nights ago as a pinch hitter. Pretty far away from that plate, so he's still looking on the inner half of the plate. Who we'll stepped closer to the plate as the pitch is thrown? That's where you want to go. All speed and away. Picked up in a trade from uh, the Chicago Cubs. Good minor league numbers for Vogelbach. Rolls a foul. Picked up his first big league hit last night. A single to right. Then on the subsequent play, forgot to touch second base. It was called out. Still on cloud nine, right? He was yeah. walking on air. <laughs> and walking on air yeah. by the base, too. So happy he got his first big league hit. It happens. Yes. Why wouldn't you be excited about that? Absolutely. 2-2 on the way. 
Vogelback will go down looking second strike of the night. Well, she's seen. He's faced six. He's retired all six, and we're scoreless. Ikea, Mike Sosha's club this season, has used 53 players. Club record, 54 used back in 2014. A very good year for Mike Sosha's club. But 15 starting pitches leads the AL in that category. Club record, 17. Like in 1967. That's the big thing, the pitching staff, the, the number of pitchers used. Scare Richards, one of them started out the season. Was throwing the ball exceptionally well in Tempe. Was Rushing up there at 100 miles an hour before that elbow injury. Getting closer and closer, though, to the bullpen. CJ Crow with a good piece of hitting shoots a rocket out to right field to lead off the second. And this is what you have to do against E. Kuma stay back, look the other way. It's a perfect swing for CJ Crow getting the foot down, looking to drive the ball that way, stays even with his swing, lines it in the right center field for a base hit. Hey, you, you take that mistake. Uh, yep. That was a mistake pitch. Zanino wanted to pitch in. I take advantage of it though. He makes he gives up the home runs when his split finger kind of drifts back the inner part of the plate against right-handed batters. He's given up 16 of them to right-handed batters, 10 to lefties. Ortega breaks his bat, loops one up the middle, Cano. 4-3 double play. Don't you know. That was an impressive play. Up the middle as he's fielding that baseball, steps on the base, and with that arm strength he has, especially with that arm angle he throws at, it's always a comfortable throw for him. Step right on the base, and quickly gets rid of the baseball. 4-3 double play. And reminding Cattell Marte that that's how you throw it over to first base. <laughs> especially with a perfect game going. In, in the air. Two outs, nobody on. Too soon? Never. No. There's Cliff Pennington. And Simmons has missed the three games in this series. Sore right hand. He injured on Sunday. A little uh, base running collision with Carlos Gomez. On a pickoff. 206 average for Cliff. And he did 0 for 2 last night. One for six in the series.
Two balls, one strike. Infield shifted to pull for Pennington. Three and one now. Juan Gratterall on deck. Pennington lifts one out to center. Deal with Kuma, the Mariners are done here in the second. We head to the third still with no score. Here in the top of the third. Now let's take a look, take a look at our Honda help a moment from last night. Mike Trout. Mike Zanino thinks he's got an extra base hit. Mike Trout running back, leaps up and makes an outstanding play on a rocket hit by Zanino right over his head, but he leaps up just in front of the wall, able to brace himself from the contact. What a play by Mike Trout getting high fives back into the dugout. Bottom third of the order coming up for Seattle. Martin Ayanet and Marte. Six up, six down for uh, Jolie Chassin. Two strikeouts included as Martin takes a strike. One for four game last night for uh, Leonis. Five hits in the series. For his game, the opening game of the series, matching career high for him. Go with two. Oh, giddy up on that fastball. He's doing very good, and I really like his location. And Grindelwald's doing a very good job as far as setting up hitters so far in this game. Ground ball toward the middle. It's a base hit. Leadoff man on board. And you got to pay attention to him, his speed. Pitcher number 33, Chris. Leonis with 18 stolen bases. Chris Iannetta going to start behind the plate tonight. First action for him in the series. 216 batting average, seven home runs, 24 RBIs. Ayanetta hit 391 against the Angels this season. Nine for 23. A double home run at two RBIs. 
Takes a breaking ball for a strike. Jashini with one pickoff this year, five in his career. Pretty big lead. No balls, two strikes. Really good lead again for Marti. Chris just gets a piece of it, fouls it back. Gilby, Texas continues to stock. They got a run in the top of the eighth. It's 5 4 you, now. You know they're not comfortable down there at Minute Maid no. Park going into the ninth inning. And they've used Giles the first two games of the series. And I want to say Monday because the extra innings is multiple innings. Martina, an easy stolen base. Hits off of the uh, right or center fielder, but Pennington, a nice job to track it down and keep Martina at second. That's why he is a shortstop there, especially with the. With petite cover and the base, you're there for backup, and a nice job by Pennington to be in position to save Gratterall from getting an error on this throw. Big, huge jump there, too, by Martin on that one. Getting him to stolen base number 19. Called strike three. Ionetta goes down looking. One out. That was a nasty slider. Three strikeouts all looking so far for Sheen in this game. Great spot. Shot by Ryder will be able to frame that pitch. Good off speed pitch. Home on count on Marte. 268 average with 21 doubles, two triples, a home run. One for three game last night with a double and a sack fly. Back up the middle, under the glove of Jassim. Pennington's there, two outs. Martinez up over at third base, and with two outs. Back to the top of the order we go with Nori Aoki coming up. That's why you always look back to see where your middle infielders are set up behind you. There's a pitcher. Aoki hit a fly ball to right the first. Threw that fastball right by him, 0 2. And Aoki with some good power numbers against Chasheen. Three home runs, 294 batting average. And that's the pitch he likes, upper part of the strike zone. Bouncer over the mound. Pennington is going to have to hurry. Cuts in front, and they don't get him. Run scores, 1 0 Seattle. RBI infield hit. He might check this one. Mike Sosha's going to check it. Dino Weeble's going in and calling Steve Solis inside that clubhouse. See if he did indeed get him. If that foot is on the base, it looks like 
They got him. See if Crohn's able to stay connected with the base. Yeah, before yeah. that foot's down, I think they got a shot at it. Yeah. See this angle right here, see if the foot is on the base. They're going to check it. That is, by definition, ball in the glove. Well, yeah, I think they got him. I think it's certainly worth the challenge, especially the way Seattle has pitched in the series and Iwakuma on the mound also tonight. It'll be a big run save. But it wouldn't be a, a game in the series against Seattle with an early game challenge by the Angels. They've lost the first two on Monday and Tuesday. Remember, the ball hits the... That's in the glove secured, there. and the foot is just finally coming down on the base for Aoki. I think it's out. Well, we think he's out. Better angle here. Falls in the glove there. Yep. The foot hadn't hit the bag yet, so you're right. It should be an out, but you never know. Pretty good stretch by CJ Crone to be able to get to that baseball as far out as possible. I hope he runs well down the line, especially on a slow roller like that. This call stands, you might see yeah. Mike Socha blow a gasket. Yeah, at some point, yes. Or two. Amazing he's got, yeah, when you think about how much paint he got on this throw as Petit was in front of him. And he got a lot on. He's got a good throwing arm. Did you get the call merely on the degree of difficulty? Yeah. <laughs> That's how they judge the Olympics, right? <laughs> uh, they're going to make the call here now. And he's, he's out. out. Perfect. Call is overturned, and the Angels uh, maintain a challenge. We head to the bottom of the third scoreless. Third. Why? Because it is played by Cliff Pennington. It's worthy of a Carl's Cam replay. Not only fielding that baseball on the second base side of the base, but avoiding Gregorio Petit and still got enough on that throw to throw out Aoki at first base. Great play by Cliff Pennington. Juan Gratterall getting to start tonight behind the plate. His first big league start. Takes ball one. One for two. 
double in his first big league at bat and an RBI. Shoots this one down the right field line. And it's a base hit to lead off the third inning. That's a 667 batting average in the big leagues. Hang him up, right? Yeah. Just call it a career. He had a double to left field, single to right, in that foot down, looking to drive the ball the other way. That was the thought process for that swing from Gratterall and lines it in the right field for a base hit. 27 year old native of Venezuela. But when you think about it, 527 games played in the minor league, that's over 11 seasons. That averaged out about 50 plus games. So he's been basically been a backup player down in the minor leagues, gets an opportunity to start at the major league level. What a moment this is for him. It took him seven years to get the double A. Bouncing around from A ball and rookie ball in the Royals system. And what his smile is fantastic. He just having a blast here. Again, now two hits in three at bats at the major league level. The team takes low. One ball, one strike. Gregorio is starting second baseman tonight, hitting 260. 13 doubles, a triple, two home runs, 15 RBIs. And drawing a throw over the first base with that speed he has. <laughs> Working that gum oh, like a yes, big leaguer, yes, that's for sure. <laughs> Gratterall's on the move, a little hit and run. That'll sneak through to left. Juan keeps on chugging. First and third with nobody out to start the third inning. Well, you talk about textbook on a hit and run. A pretty good pitch, too. This pitch is well below the strike zone. Just trying to put it in play. And with the shortstop covered Marte, wide open that shortstop position as Crowderall works his way all the way to third base on that hit and run. This is not easy to put in play, but if you're going to have something to be able to hit on the ground, this is your best shot. That's just about three or four inches above the dirt. Well done by Petit. Two on, nobody out. Top of the order, Yunel Escobar. Get a line drive to Leonis Martin in center at the bottom of the first. He's 0 for 1. Halos has not been pretty in this homestand with men in scoring position. Four for 37. The first five games. No bueno. So they do. One way to look at it. Was downstairs. That would be the glass half full yeah, yes. way of looking at yes, it. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, this man right here has been very good in these situations. 402 with runners in scoring position, four doubles, 30 RBI. It's weird, though, because the Angels swung the bat so well to start the month of September. I mean, they were on a roll, especially with the long ball. Check swing foul. And scoring a lot of runs yeah. early. They're averaging at one point, uh, what, six runs a game? One ball, one strike. Grata roll over at third. Petit at first base. Back to back singles. On the corner, you now doesn't like it. Brian Honora tonight calling the balls and strikes. Outfield combined 19 outfield assists led by Martin in center with 11 of them. Fly ball to center could be a challenge for Gratterall to score unless it's deep enough.
Long hold for Iwakuma. Tapper foul. It goes back to the screen. Another one, two. Escobar fouls it back. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out. Scoreless. We're in the third. Oh, man. Pretty good pitch. Down and in. One down. Very difficult one, one to elevate, hit in the air, sink below the hands. Nasty little splitter there to get a swing and miss. Average fastball velocity this season for Iwakuma, 87.7 miles per hour. So he doesn't have overpowering stuff as far as his fastball, but he does have very good movement on his two-seamer like that, his split finger, same thing. No balls and a strike on Cole. Work the walk in the first. There's Albert looking and hoping he gets an opportunity in this inning also to get in the bat against Iwakuma. Oh, what? Oh, it too. That's cold zone to do some damage. 91 mile an hour fastball. Pretty good velocity on the fastball tonight for Iwakuma. You would think, I mean, that's the prototypical left handed zone that mm -hmm. down in the strike zone. Cole likes that. Belt high, a little bit higher. Still at 0 2. Trout on deck. Trout are all leading off the inning with a base at the right, and on a hit and run, Petit. And the dribbler through the left side. And Juan ending up over at third base. Well, Iwakuma really slows down his tempo with runners on as compared with no one on base. Yeah. Screeching halt. This one gets away from Ionetta. one nothing Angels. Petit ends up at second. 
fourth wild pitch of the season for Iwakuma. So far in this inning, base hit the other way, a hit and run worked perfectly. And now a wild pitch. Take the one nothing lead here in the third inning. A lot of late movement on that little two seamer. And it's going position at Petit. One two count. Good pitch. Good approach. Just trying to hit it the other way. And that's what you have to do against Ibukuma. That's why he's had success in his career against the Angels. When the hitters try to pull his pitches away, very difficult to do so. A lot of baseballs off the end of the bat. Now, if you look to go the other way, like Gratterall did, with a very good swing there, a better chance. Same thing with C.J. Crone, hit the ball very well the other way against him. Was looking to hit the ball to right. Cole lifts one out the left. Aoki is there. Two down. Petit cannot advance. So Matt at second with two down. Here comes Trout. Center field. Down square 27. Trout reached out of Fielder's choice in the first inning, 0 for 1. Sinking fastball in on the hands. Well, Trout will be swinging at that first pitch now. Just try to catch a fastball out over the plate. Slow curveball, 72 mile an hour curveball. Trout pulls it foul. The ball is two strikes. Pitch range so far for Iwakuma. 92 best fastball, four seam fastball, 69 mile an hour curve. Pretty good differential. Still at the bottom of the third. One nothing Angels on a wild pitch. You weren't kidding about Iwakuma slowing things down. It's like a Snapchat filter. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's it always surprised me why when you're pitching from the full windup why you're so much quicker than all of a sudden I know you with base runners but here, you have a man on second right now there's no reason take a lot of time in between pitches and hold the baseball so much especially when you're dealing with a hitter like Mike Trout at the plate your focus should be on Trout funny pitches thrown so far by Iwakuma always felt the quicker you work the better chances are the defender is going to make a very good play behind you because they're on their toes Now that one straight back at a fastball at 91. I can't believe he's going to see that little splitter down and in again. He had a good swing at that fastball upstairs. 295 batting average with runners in scoring position with 62 RBI. Looking for RBI number 90 here on the season.
tried that splitter down and in this time Trout made the adjustment. Trout 305 batting average on all speed pitches. 315 on breaking balls. I've seen from Ionetta against Trout. He will pitch inside to him a lot. Yeah, a lot. Especially fastballs in. Looks like they're going to try to sneak one in there. Made a mistake. That was right down the heart of the plate again. Ionetta likes that fastball in. Against his former teammate. You know, Kuma so far tonight, though, Gooby, has not really established him. He's tried to pitch in to Crone. He tried to do it. He missed over the plate. Yep. Crone got the base at the right. So he that, made a couple mistakes out over the plate. And a lot of times when you do that as a pitcher, you're not fully committed or you don't have a lot of confidence that you're going to get that fastball in far enough. That's why he's given up 26 home runs. Those mistakes trying to go in on a right-handed batter end up drifting out over the plate and get crushed. Gave up three runs on eight hits and seven innings to the Angels two starts ago. That was up at Safeco. Last time out, picked up the win. It's Oakland allowing two runs on seven hits. So far, one run in. It was on a wild pitch. Almost got a chase. Full that's, count. That's a good take. And the one thing we've seen from Iwakuma over the years, he will not give in. He will not necessarily just, okay, I'm going to challenge with a fastball. He's either going to throw that splitter down and in or something breaking going down and away. Three two. Trout fouls it back. Tried to go fastball upstairs again and missed location once again. The Ionetta trying to set that target upper part of the strike zone. So missed away. And around the knees. Next pitch will be the ninth pitch of this at bat. Trout averaging 4.42 pitches per plate appearance this season. Third most in Major League Baseball. So he's used to these long at bats. Good little battle going on. And he works the walk. A well earned walk. That Second free pass just by Iwakuma. That was a real good at bat by Trout. Against the guy he hasn't had a whole lot of success with. Conversation out with Iwakuma now. That 50 pitches now. Two outs here in the third. It seemed like he's thrown a lot more than that. Yeah. He's thrown a lot in this inning. <laughs> Just because this inning. Yes. Or half innings taken for a while. 26 total pitches thrown by the right hander this inning. Pitch is thrown in the second inning. 26, you mentioned that, Victor, in this inning so far. 16 in the first. Albert just missed one in the first inning. Hit a fly ball to left. 0 for 1. Homer against Iwakuma up in Seattle. Back on September 4th. Want it out. That was his last home run. Number 589. And a three hit game that night.
Petit at second and Trout over at first. Albert still at 29 home runs and 110 runs batted in. Next home run, 590th. Next double milestone, 600th double of his career. Those have been few and far between this year. Always been a doubles machine. Just 16 doubles this season. Trying to increase, increase the Angels' lead. Look at, went out to left center. He got jammed on it. Martins there. And there's half inning finally in the books. The Angels manage one run on the wild pitch. We'll head to the fourth. One nothing Halos. Fans in attendance will receive a commemorative Mickey Mouse replica statue while supplies last. Just go to angels.com slash promotions and get your tickets today. Top of the fourth, two, three, and four against Julie Chassin, Smith, Cano, and Cruz. Seth Smith takes a strike. Went down looking in the first. Three strikeouts for us, you see. And all three have uh, been looking. One ball, one strike. Pretty good pitch. Good movement on that one. So far in this game, Shasheen has faced 11 batters, 10 first pitch strikes. Rip to the right side, and that's the shift. Petit has it from shallow right field. And he throws out Smith for round number one. Real nice play by Petit. Under control, knowing he has to wait a little bit for C.J. Crone to get back to the base. Hit well by Smith. Move with the shift on. Able to wait, and they make a good throw. And foot on the base beats Smith by C.J. Crone. Angels as far as defensive shifts this season. 1,060, which is seventh most in Major League Baseball as far as the shifts being put on. Robinson Cano popped out. His first plate appearance. 
Shoots this one out to left field. Ortega has to come in on it. Two down. And with Nelson Cruz coming to the plate, now it's time for Tools of the Trade, brought to you by Ram Trucks. Look at two premier power hitters in the little difference in their swing. Short through the baseball as far as the toe tap, the leverage in the bat, using that back leg to get that power and that swing through. But Albert, a little bit more of a longer stride to be able to get that baseball out in front and a little bit longer of a follow through for Albert Pujols as compared to Nelson Cruz. So difference in the stride, but as far as getting that barrel of the bat out there, very similar power numbers, outstanding for both. O2 count. Nelson grounded out to short in the second inning. He's 0 for 1. Jacine trying to go a 1-2-3 shutdown inning. And he will do it. Picks up his fourth strikeout, a 1-2-3 fourth. And we'll head to the bottom of the inning with the Angels up 1-0. Bottom of the fourth inning. Crone or taking Pennington coming up against Sashi Wakuma. TJ one for one. He had a base hit. His first plate appearance. Takes outside. He was looking to drive the ball to right field. First pitch away again, but Iwakuma to CJ Crone. Pretty good hanging breaking ball. One ball, one strike. Iwakuma with one strikeout, two walks, three hits allowed. So often when you throw that pitch, you're already reaching back and asking the umpire for another <laughs> baseball. Can I get one of those that are rubbed up, please? 
Low throw. Nice dig out over at first base. No doubt. That's the frustrating part of the hitter. When you had a hanger, yep. you take it, and all of a sudden, you're almost automatic to swing at the very next pitch because you're, you're upset with yourself for not attacking that mistake pitch. You have to have a lot of discipline after you let that pitch go by. And that fastball ran in off the plate, was not a strike that Iwakuma jammed them with. Or take a showing bunt. Ground into a double play. 4 3 double play in his first plate appearance. Very, very well. Lands in pretty good fielding position when he delivers the baseball. One or two. <laughs> Cano plays a short hop. Two down. Five outs via the ground ball so far in this game for Iwakuma. One strikeout, a couple of walks. Into the game, 130 strikeouts, 39 walks. A little better than a three to one ratio as far as walks to strikeouts. Cliff Pennington, a fly ball to center field in his first at bat. Starting to mix it, mix it up here, Iwakuma. And then at bat to Ortega, the slider, a split, curveball, and fastball. Patience here by Pennington not chasing that little sinker out of the strike zone. Mentioned how important it is to bring those pitches into the middle of the plate and, and above the knees. Full count. Ryder all on deck. Base hit scored the run in this game. Called strike three, and the Angels are down in order. We head to the fifth. It's one nothing Halos.
brought to you by Subaru, making the world a better place. That's why we donate to causes we care about. By El Pollo Loco, new chicken tenders. Try them today at El Pollo Loco. And by the three-row 2016 Mazda CX-9. Halo's up one nothing. Start the uh, fifth inning, Seager. Vogel back and Leonis Martin. Jalisha seen the emergency starter tonight. 50 pitches so far through four innings. Four strikeouts, no walks. One hit allowed. That was a leadoff single to Leonis Martin in the third. Yeah, last two innings for Shashin. He's thrown 21 pitches combined, 19 of them strikes. Seager drives one out to deep right field, and just like that, we are tied at one. Seager with his 29th of the season and his 93rd run batted in. That's yeah, another one of those first pitch strikes, but not located well. I mentioned that earlier as far as really have to be careful in that first pitch against these Seattle hitters. He's been around the zone a lot. This time that fastball inner half of the plate. And Seager drives that one out quickly. 93rd RBI. Mislocation. You see where Gratterall wanted that pitch. He has to reach back. Shasheen knows it, tell by his reaction also. Ground ball over to second, Vogel back. He retired here for the first out. Back to Seeger, first pitch swinging. A 4-10 batting average on the first pitch. And now with four home runs and 11 RBIs in those situations this year. We've talked about it a lot with Seattle. They've been really aggressive on the first pitch. And they've had a lot of success on the very first pitch. That still doesn't keep you away from throwing strikes. That allows you to utilize that aggressiveness and go a little bit away and down. Quality and strikes. A, yeah, quick right? outs like that one right there. Yeah. Ground ball out. Vogel back 0 for 2. There's Martin, 1 for 1 with the base up the middle. <laughs> 16 batters face, 15 first pitch strikes. And that was good movement on that one at 92. Seager's had himself an outstanding season at the plate. Third base side headed toward the seats. Sixty-five extra base hits this season for Seager with that home run. Martin goes down swinging. Gratterall will have to throw down to first to complete the strikeout. Two outs. Brings up Ian Edel. This copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of the Los Angeles Angels and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. Yeah, we were talking about this a little bit yesterday before the game as far as 3-4-5 in a lineup for Team Seattle. With Cano, Cruz, and Seager, the numbers they've put up, probably top three as far as that part of the order in the American League for sure. Boston right up there themselves. But this Seattle middle part of this lineup has been very, very good for him, including Seager. 29 home runs. Cano, 33. Cruz, 36. All with the high batting average. All the, at least the 280s, mid 280s, not higher. Hynettle went down looking into third. So he's over for one. Breaking ball is in there. Full count. Second full count for Shasin. Just 
got a piece of it. Yeah, good action, good life on that sinker today. Pretty consistent with the velocity on this yep. fastball, 92 94 range. At this point, Mike Sosha, Charles Nagy have to be really happy with what they've seen from Sheen getting this opportunity to start with Tyler Skaggs missing the start today. Out to right field, Cole is there. And Shasin settled down, gives up the leadoff home run to Seeger, but then gets the next three. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth, tied at one. Kyle Seeger's 29th home run, already a career high. Just continues to uh, increase that career high. But uh, Jalisha Seen didn't let it snowball. We uh, start the bottom of the fifth. The score still tied at one. Gratterall, Petit, and Escobar up. Very nice outing so far for Shasheen. Gratterall flips one out to right field. He's got himself his first big league multi hit game. The batting average up now to 750. Runs his fastball in. Brings his hands inside just enough to punch that one in the right field for a second hit that way against Iwakuma. Worked a little hit and run magic with Petit at the plate and Gratterall at first last time. Say that. Look at your batting average now, man. Let's see if you get a stolen base. Might as well add on in that category, too. Petit had himself a base hit in the third. A little hit and run action. Petit stuck one through the left side. He's one for one. Push punt. Vogel back will pick it up, flip it over to Cano. Sacrifice puts Gratterall in the scoring position. Mike so should know the numbers that Escobar has had in his career versus Yakuma, although tonight fly out the center and a strikeout.
sack done well by Petit. Get some high fives in that dugout. Escobar tonight 0 for 2. A fly ball to center, more of a line drive and a strikeout. And my Hyundai key for this game tonight. It's us and them are going to take a total team effort to beat this very hot Seattle club right now. So far, Shashin has done his part. He's pitched five really good innings, looking for some offense now against Iwakuma. Chopper left side. Seeger has to commit on it. Two down. Well, much as we have said that Seeger's hit the ball well, he's made some outstanding defensive plays this season against the Angels. Even though coming in the game, 22 errors made. You can never guess that the plays he has made against the Angels this year. Two outs and a man in scoring position for Cole Calhoun. A walk in the first and a fly ball to left in the third. Iwakuma once again bringing everything to a halt. The man in scoring position. Cole just gets underneath this one. Martin is there. And we will head to the sixth inning. Still tied at one. Of baseball, Toronto up in Toronto, Tampa. Corey Dickerson with a two-run home run in the sixth as Tampa beats Toronto eight to one today. Toronto scuffling in the month of September, going to Rogers Center. 
Dickerson with a lefty all on the mound. Dead center field, two run home run. 20th of the season. The Rays beat the Jays eight to one. 11 and eight against the Jays this season for the Tampa Bay Rays. Toronto at the start of the day, two back and in second place. And Baltimore with the win today against Boston. Yeah. So uh, Baltimore now a game back. Boston still leads the division. That is a foul ball, apparently. Yep. I wonder if Gratterall was saying that the ball made contact with Marte. No argument. No balls, two strikes. So like Dino Evil's calling in to Steve Solis to see if there was some contact made. Yeah, it went off the leg, but it looked like he's still in the batter's box at that point. Well, depending on where that back leg is, and there's no batter's box to be able to derive where the foot was in relation to that box. The old in, in the vicinity of yeah, the batter's box. Exactly. Just got a piece of it. I don't know how he did, but he did. Still an 0-2 count. Boy, a lot of strikes thrown here by Shashin tonight. 65 pitches, 50 strikes and you're right I don't know how you make contact and it's right off the foot hard slider down and in it's been a very effective pitch for him more likely you got to go right back with that same pitch and by the way I was just looking at the standings Toronto with Detroit winning today now uh, one game better than the Tigers for that second wild card spot Yankees lost We'll see how this game plays out because Seattle's two and a half back at the start of the day. There were six shutouts in Major League Baseball tonight and today. The old getaway day shutouts. One ball, two strikes. You don't see it too often. He won nothing shutout at Fenway Park today. Marteo for one. He grounded out to short in the third inning. <laughs> Wear it. The time is a fastball in. Well, yeah, this time he got the shin guard at least. And more than likely after that fastball, he'll try that slider down and in. Missile down to shallow center field, and it'll fall in for a base hit. That's a pretty good at bat after fouling two baseballs off your foot. Jose Alvarez getting ready. Three lefties in a row coming up now for Seattle. Third hit tonight for Seattle. Lead off man on board. There's Nori Aoki. Fly a ball and a ground out. So he's 0 for 2. And he has rolled into nine double plays. Went out to right field. Cole back on it. And just shot of the track will put it away for the first out. And you mentioned those numbers, power numbers for Aoki against Sashin. Three home runs in his career. Off the bat. Worried about that, especially with that short porch in right field. But Cole able to run that one down. One out, one on. Here's Seth Smith. 0 for 2. Struck out looking at the first, grounded out of the fourth.
Ball of a strike. Breaky ball. What a two. Could tell Marte was walking back to first base and asking for time. Had his hands up in the air. Nobody paying attention to him. Trying to get time, but no. After that pitch, I think Seth Smith would have liked that one. This one now toward left center field, tailing away from Trout. He'll dive and did he get it? He did. Nice play by Mike Trout. He throws back to first to try to get the double play. But Marte back in there. That is one heck of a play as that ball kept sinking and tailing away from him. He's made two unbelievable plays in this series against Seattle. It's our top tier play brought to you by Arco. This looked like it was destined for a double and an RBI. Full extension on the dive. Mike Trout proving once again why he's the best player in the game. Outstanding defensive play out in center field. Make that left center field for Mike Trout. What a play. Run saver. So two outs. Marte back to first. Here's Robinson Cano. He's popped down. Hit a fly ball to left. She's seen it 74 pitches. Trying to get through the sixth inning. Five strikeouts. No walks. Three hits allowed. Cano will take a strike. Well, off the bat, I thought Trout had no chance of running that one down. Left-handed bat, it's running away from him. It wasn't hit that high, so kind of a do-or-die play. That ball kept sinking. Uh, just missed outside. One one. The distance he covered. You see where Trout is off the bat. And that baseball was just hooking away from him, slicing. What a play! It's like he gets one, it in quickly. It's like one of your drives. Yeah. A little fade action, power fade, right? <laughs> power fade for sure. One one pitch, you know. The only way I get it to that spot, if there's some kind of water or something over there, I'd find. Well, you play right handed, so that's more of a duck hook. <laughs> well, that's more like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should try left handed. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> One, two. Cano, a little dribble back to the mound. Should do it. Oh, nice outing for Jolie Chassin. Getting some help on the defensive side by Mike Trout. We'll head to the bottom of the six. Still tied at one. Two unbelievable plays by Mike Trout against Seattle in this series.
Tied at one, bottom of the sixth inning. Trout, Pujols, and Crone to face Sasha Wakuma here in the sixth. Trout tonight, 0 for 1, a fielder's choice and a walk. You would come up with two strikeouts, two walks. A little slider to stay middle part of the plate. See Mike Trout shaking his head. Pretty good pitch to do some damage to. They're going to try to go fastball up. At least that's what Ionetta wants him to try. Shook him off, went breaking ball. At some point, they're going to try a fastball inside against Trout at this at bat. Down the line, Seeger will backhand a little bit of a bobble, but still strong enough to throw out Trout for the first out. Well, when you think about the ability that Mike Trout has defensively. Zanino thinks for sure he's got an extra base hit. Trout runs back, leaps up, makes an outstanding play. His eyes, head does not move as he jumps up and makes the play. Then tonight here in the sixth inning, it's going to be an RBI double at the least. And dives, makes an unbelievable play before that baseball hits that outfield grass. Two amazing plays, back-to-back -back nights for Trout. This one out to center. Well, he's just missed a couple times in this game. 0 for 3 tonight. Hey, get your rent on and join us this Sunday, September 18th at 1235 p.m. for Salute to Kids Day. Kids in attendance will have the chance to win great prizes courtesy of OGO, Discovery Cube, and San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Visit angels.com slash promotions to purchase your tickets today. Jose Valdez getting ready. Looks like he'll pitch the seven. Crowd one for two. Head of the count of two balls and no strikes. During that last at bat, Yukuma made a mistake on a break ball right in the middle of the plate. CJ took it. Next pitch, he ran the fastball in off the plate and jammed the ground ball right back at him. <laughs> Got to get the green light here for C.J. Crone. Especially in a game in where it's Iwakuma has thrown the ball well. Looking for a fastball. Try to do some damage. Looked like Brian Honora was thinking about calling it a strike. It's a walk with two outs. Third free pass issued by Iwakuma. 
the inning alive for Rafael Ortega. He's got services and a very good job as first year manager for Seattle this season. He's playing very, very good baseball, I believe. Seven in a row. Nine games over 500. In the conversation for the wild card. This one pulled foul. Nice leg lift there by Gary DeSarcina for no apparent reason. Look good doing it though. Showing his quickness. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> even close to it. It's like he was stepping over a puddle of water or he, something. He really loves when we talk about him too. Oh, he, loves yeah. he says that every day. Ortego for two. Twice is grounded out the canoe. Once resulting in a double play. No balls, two strikes. Halo's got a run in the third inning on a wild pitch. Kyle Seeger tied it up in the leadoff home run in the fifth inning. O2 count with two outs and a throw over to check in on CJ Crone. One ball, two strikes. 85 pitches now for the right hander. Fifty two of them strikes of the 85 pitches thrown for Iwakuma. One two. Take a chops this one toward third. Seeger will go the short way and they force out Crone for the third out. We'll head to the seventh, still tied at one.
Northwest is brought to you by Infinity. Visit your local Southern California Infinity retailer for a test drive today. And by Heffernan Insurance Brokers, insurance and financial services for you and your business. Visit HeffINS.com. Top of the seventh inning, Halos and the Mariners tied at a game apiece in the uh, third and final game of the series with Seattle having taken the first two. Jalisha Seen is done after six stellar innings. Emergency start for him with Tyler Skaggs getting scratched. One run, three hits, including a home run, five strikeouts in those six innings. And it's Jose Valdez taking over in our in and out, who's in, who's out. Valdez, now that uh, has been kind of up and down, a lot of walks for him. Pitching in his 17th game, one and two mark, a 3.45 ERA. Mentioned those walks, 12 of them in 15 and two third innings. He has 12 walks, 11 strikeouts. Especially for a guy with a power fastball and slider and splitter that he has. You think more strikeouts from him. But what an effort, though, by Jolice. Faced 21 batters, 19 first pitch strikes, and six very good innings pitched. Cruz, Seeger, and uh, Vogelback getting ready. Or uh, the do up here for Seattle. The Angels have action getting ready in their bullpen. As Nelson Cruz yanks one into left field, and this one is gone. Cruz has done it again. Another home run against the Angels, and Jose Valdez coughs it up. It's 2-1 to one Seattle. Well, we talked about Cruz in the opening, what he has done this season. As far as home runs against the Eagles, now his 10th this season. Trying to keep him in the ballpark, a mistake made. Out of the ballpark by Cruz once again. And home run number 37. Last time Valdez pitched, he gave up a uh, go ahead home run to Jonathan Lucroy of the Texas Rangers. So back to back outings for Valdez. He's coughed up the long ball. A pitching change. He faces one batter. He go. And uh, we will go to the bullpen. 2 1 Seattle. Top here, the seventh inning, his 37th of the year, 92nd run batted in. And Jose Valdez's performance tonight uh, comes to an end after uh, one batter. And it's uh, Jose Alvarez taking over on the mound. He will face Kyle Seeger, 59th game for Alvarez. He pitched last night, went one inning, allowed one hit on nine pitches. Kyle Seeger, homer to lead off the fifth inning. That was off as you see. He's one for two tonight. That home run and a pop up. Seeger with a solo home run himself in the fifth. So two home runs. Seeger, Cruz in this game. First pitch strike in there. Talked about Kyle Seeger with 65 extra base hits, his brother Corey with 67. 
for the Dodgers. So Seeker brothers combined 132 extra base hits this season. Prone comes in, takes it himself, one out. One out, nobody on for Dan Vogelback. First baseman, 0 for 2. A strikeout and a ground down. It looks like he will be pinch hit for. With Alvarez in the game. Deho Lee. He's going to come in and uh, pinch hit for Vogelback, and we assume that Sosha will go back out. And sure enough, right on cue. So the revolving door of the bullpen continues here in the seventh. Alvarez at a minimum retires his one and only batter. One out here in the seventh, two one Seattle. But then it was Seattle up two to one. Deho Lee will face Ramirez. Last pitched on Sunday. Went one inning in that one. 62nd game. Two and four mark of 4.85 ERA between the Reds and the Angels. Ramirez for the Angels hit pitch now is. This will be his 35th game. 26 strikeouts, nine walks, 36 in the third innings. Power fastball with movement for Ramirez. Also will throw a slider, split finger fastball. Hey, Holy at 261 average this year. 14 home runs, 49 RBIs. Swings first pitch and lines with the center. Fastball upper part of the strike zone, lines it into center field. Ramirez, his best fastball is the lower part of the strike zone with the movement. So a man on with one out and Leonis Martin coming up. He's one for two with a single and a strikeout. Again, another guy up there swinging first pitch fastball. This one up in the zone.
missed inside. Pretty good pitch. Yeah. Ratterall kind of took it in. He was set up a little bit outside. Yeah, that got a lot of the strike zone at 100 miles an hour. Setting up away. Be close to the heart of the plate. Very difficult for an umpire, though, when you see a catcher reach back like that to call the strike, although it was in the zone. Yes, he did. He looked like he went around. Two outs. You know, I, I don't know how it is hard for an umpire to call that a strike, especially in that instance there. Where that pitch, where Onora is set up, he's set up right in the middle of the plate, Gratterall to his left. That ball is coming right at him. Yeah, maybe that's why he didn't call, because it was coming right at him at 100. Gratterall saved him. He should yeah. call it a strike just for the save. <laughs> just for the kick save of the beauty. <laughs> two outs and a man at first. Here's Chris Sainetta. He's over two. You see how aggressive the Seattle lineup is on that first pitch. Well, they've seen a lot of first pitch strikes in this game. One ball, one strike. Nigger Martinez has done a very good job as far as the hitting coach for Seattle, one of the best hitters. In the game in his time. Knows a lot of times you're going to get that first pitch fastball. Why not let it go? That's why they've been so aggressive and very successful in that first pitch. One and two. His approach was always aggressive early then, but when he's behind in the count, he's thinking of using the middle of the field as a hitter. That's why he was so good against right-handed pitching and left-handed pitching. We'll talk about Barry Bonds. The all time best as far as getting inside the baseball, getting the hands inside the ball. From the right side, I don't think there's much better. Although Miguel Cabrera is pretty darn good. Yes. Edgar Martinez, the way he used the, the alley to alley was incredible. I remember throwing a number of sliders, and I thought were really good ones, and he lined them right back up the middle. Or a two seam fastball in, right back up the middle. Edgar Martinez, a great hitter. Leonis Martin, great hair. Oh. Outstanding. Full count. Lee will be on the move from first base. A balk. It should be called a balk, and it is. Laz Diaz is calling yep. it. Keho Lee will take second. Oh, wait a second. Are they saying did he step off? If he stepped off, it's not a balk. And fortunately, then. Yep, yeah, he, he stepped, stepped off. off. It doesn't matter at that point. Fortunately, hit Dale <laughs> Lee in the head. <laughs> yeah, Laz he Diaz it. called it a balk. Yeah, if he just turns the throw without anybody being there at first base, that is a ball. But because he stepped off the pitching rubber. It's great to, for a fade route. That was perfect. <laughs> Why in the world he's worried about Deho Lee, who's running on a 3-2 count regardless, yeah, is with, beyond me. Yeah, with two outs, it's all, I mean, you already know First baseman is playing behind him. Yeah, yeah. The first baseman just told him yes, that he's playing, uh, playing behind, behind him. him. <laughs> Might have to get those signs that they use in college football on the sidelines yeah. or the sign <laughs> for the play. That's one of those plays you do in spring training. Well, that, let's try that play out. Step off and then throw over on a three-two count. All right, now it goes down, swinging, stretch time here at the big end. The Angels trail it two-one.
One, two to one in the bottom of the seventh. Lukuma back to the mound here. Defensive changes. Ready out in right field, taking over Seth Smith. And Lee at first base. Now the ball game after pinch running. After pinch hitting, I should say. Pennington, Gratterall, and Petit do up for the Angels here in the seventh. That's the bottom third of the order. Breaking ball missing upstairs. Curveball. Three walks and two strikeouts. That's curveball slipped out of his hand. Six innings, three walks, just four hits allowed. One earned run. Iwakuma continues to pitch very well against the Angels. 8-5, 2.90 ERA against the Angels in his career. Pennington laid on it. One ball, one strike. Pennington 0 for 2 with a fly ball to center and a strikeout looking. This is Wilhelmson in the bullpen. Will Stoudemire Jr. calling down the bullpen. Wonder if he's ready just in case a base runner. Like a bag of tricks with Iwakuma, especially the last couple of seasons. The off speed stuff, just keeping you off balance. Tonight, not the uh, the best of controls. We've seen him. He could just uh, cross T's and dot I's. The three walks today is kind of uh, unusual for him. Bunt with two strikes and Iwakuma bobbles it. Off balance throw is not going to get Pennington. Pennington last night struck out trying to do the same thing. Iwakuma this time read it well. But the minute he bobbled it, Gooby is going to be a tough play. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he gets off that pitching mound extremely quick. Talked about how well he fields his position, but it's a little bit of a bobble. That's the only reason why he didn't make this play. Still made it pretty close. Pretty good range to be able to cover. That was a good bunt by Pennington. Granted in with an infield base, hit his one Gratterall, two for two with a couple of singles to right, the run scored. The way he's hit the ball to the right side of the infield, you would think he's a perfect candidate for a hit and run. <laughs> Offers at it, it bunts it foul. Two career sacrifices at the minor league level. Two this year at AAA. Ninety one pitches now for Iwakuma. Time is 
Dog. Hey, man, when you've spent 11 seasons in the minor leagues, you don't have a whole lot of patience at the plate when you get, once you get to the big leagues. Like, let's go throw the ball. Yeah. Gratterall asking for time. Yeah, Gratterall was telling me that first time, first at bat, Albert Poole says, hey, as soon as you see any pitch, a fastball, especially just swing as hard as you can. Be ready to go. As soon as you see that pitch, out of the hand of the pitcher. You need to wait around, do some damage quickly. Still looking in for that sign. He's waving off by a <laughs> What are you waving him off for if you can't settle on a sign? Eighth place hitter. Four career at bats. Pennington earlier this inning had a bunt single. A bunt, and it's a good one. And then it calls off the equivalent sacrifice. Moves Pennington to the scoring position. Nice job by Gratterall. Forcing I didn't make that play. And here comes Scott service, so we're going to get a pitching change. Tom Wilhelms is ready to go in the bullpen. And that's going to be it for Sashi Wakuma. Pitching change here at the bottom of the seventh. Seattle's up two to one. Akuma. He's done after six and a third. Tom Wilhelmson takes over on the mound with a man at second base and one out here in the seventh. Wilhelmson's pitched better since being uh, reacquired from the Texas Rangers. He shipped off early this year to uh, Texas. Not pitching well at all there. Got picked back up, pitching down his 46th game. You see that 7 1 2 ERA. But uh, I mentioned that he threw the ball better. With Seattle, a 3.74 ERA, 24 games since his return. And his fastball still firm, 92-97 range, slider, curveball, changeup, and a very good curveball.
next bus will pinch hit here for Gregorio Petit. Martinez coming to the dugout for something now headed back out to center field. <laughs> Bus last night had himself a hit. One for one, so he'll take a break the ball for a strike. Paddington over at second base. Bunt base hit. Get on board, lead off the inning. Ground ball toward the middle. Cano to his right has it. Two down. No has a lot of coverage at that second base position and so smooth and under control. With that throw he has, that angle he's able to throw at. So it's up to Yanel Escobar. 0 for 3 tonight. Fly ball to center, a strike out and a ground out. Here one Seattle. Nelson Cruz will lead off home run at the top of the seventh. He's off of Jose Valdez. Seattle the lead. This one's out towards center. Elvis Martin has a play on it. Halos will leave a man at third. We'll head to the eighth with Seattle up 2 1. leading the Angels 2 to 1. I'm Patrick O'Neill. Hope you stick around after the game for Angels Live brought to you by your SoCal Mazda dealers Kingfish Tim Salmon Jose Mota and Alex Curry with all the interviews. Certainly a strong outing from Jolie's Chasin. Talk about Chasin and maybe uh, his chances going forward with this Angels organization and let's not forget how important this game is 
to the Seattle Mariners. So the, the chance to play spoilers here for the Angels very important. But to me, in, in September, you get the call-ups, guys. You get a, a long game with all the pitching changes, but you get a story like Juan Gratterall. He should take a screenshot of that batting average right now. I mean, he's just fantastic. I just love the story, guys. Well, there's no doubt about it. Patrick, by the way, happy birthday once again to Patrick O'Neill. Yeah, Gratterall. Nice job today. Two base hits, a sack bunt, and solid behind the plate. Outstanding story. Perseverance all those years in the minor leagues. 11 minor league seasons for Gretel getting his first major league start tonight. Soft little one hopper to Pennington. And Marte, the time for the first down. By the way, is there a quote of how many times we have to wish Patrick a happy birthday during a game tonight? No, we can do it a lot. I mean, did he uh, demand a certain number of happy birthdays? He is Patrick O'Neill. Yes, he deserves it. He said that. No, I didn't say if he deserved it. I said, did he demand a certain number? <laughs> Or are you stipulating the fact that he is Patrick O'Neill? He is, he is Patrick O'Neill, so he deserves it. That's all I'm saying. That's all you're saying. That's all I'm saying. I, th I, I think you're feeling a little pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're afraid of Patty O. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was in one of the Die Hard movies. Die Hard 2. Die Hard 2. He's also in Wild Hogs. Wild Hogs, yes, yeah. he was. Just fast forward to that lake scene. Oh, fantastic scene. Patio. Yep. Great under underwater swimmer. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> oh, Patio, we love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Very well said. <laughs> Caleb Coward, by the way, the new second baseman. Nori chops it over to short. Pennington throws it out. Two outs. Hey, follow Angels Baseball Live with MLB.com at bat app. Stay up to the moment at any moment with game day, live game video, highlights, stat cast, news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat. The number one app for live baseball on your phone or tablet. I'm waiting for the text to pop up here in a minute. Yeah, I'll wait to see. Unless he turned off his RF. He <laughs> said, I'm done listening to these guys. <laughs> Guillermo Heredia, first plate appearance, took over defensively in uh, right field for Seth Smith last inning. Takes inside. Two balls, no strikes. The old two out, two o. Oh. oh, Patty O wanted me to remind you that don't forget about the 90210 first season that he was in. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly have not. I remember it well. <laughs> yeah, I can see you watching 90210. Oh, yes. Two one pitch. Three and one. Robinson Cano on deck. JC came in with one out in the uh, seventh. Gave up a hit to Dayholy and then struck out Martin and Ionetta. A couple of ground outs to start this eighth inning. And Heredia will work the walk with two outs. Not what you wanted with Cano coming to the plate. Cano, 0 for 3.
Already no stolen bases yet this year. Has been caught once. Toward the middle, Cower can't get there. Heredia will turn and head to third. It was dreaded two out walks. All of a sudden now, two on with Nelson Cruz, who homered his last at bat. Tenth home run of the season against the Angels. They're just getting by Coward in the right center field for base hit for Cano, and Heredia easily goes to third. One for three with that home run of the seventh. Fastball first strike. Zizek getting ready. Ground ball toward the middle. Pennington far to his left. Throws the first dugout back throw. Got him. What a play by Cliff Pennington to get the third out and keep this a one run deficit as we head to the bottom of the eighth. Have two, three, and four coming up. Calhoun, Trout, and Pools. Go back and look at that play that ended the last half inning. Great range by Cliff Pennington and a lot on that throw. He had threw three really good throws in that inning and a good scoop, too, by CJ Crone. A lot on it for an all balanced throw over to first to barely get Nelson Cruz. Finish off the inning and keep it close. Steve Ciszek. Takes over on the mound here to face uh, the heart of the Angels order. He'll do so for the 55th time this year. Three and six record, 3.18 ERA. Had uh, closed out quite a few games for Seattle before the emergence of Edwin Diaz and the uh, injury, well, hip injury that Ciszek had. Got a new right fielder, Ben Gamble. Heredia moves from right over to left, so Nori Aoki no longer in the game. Ciszek fastball is going to be 89 to 93 range. Slider throws a lot of sliders. Occasional changeup. 71 strikeouts this season. For Ciszek, very impressive as far as the strikeout total. And that's only in 56 and two thirds innings pitched. Cole takes a slider, hits the back corner for a strike. Cole tonight, 0 for 2, a couple of fly ball outs and a walk. What a one.
Tom Will helps in went two thirds of an inning got out of the uh, seventh inning. So one run in the game charge to Hisashi Wakuma. Breaking ball. And it's one and two. Had a tough time this season against the Angels though for Shishak. 0 and 2 mark, 11.25 ERA in four games. Two balls, two strikes for season with Seattle. Finished off last year with St. Louis. Trout on deck. Then Pujols. Here's the 2 2. Breaking ball. Just missed. Full count. Cole one for two against C. Sheck. Trout one for three. Pujols three for four with a home run. 3 2 on the way. Breaking ball. Got him looking. Cole knew it. Caught the outside corner. One down. And mentioned how many sliders he will throw. About 49% of his pitches sliders. There's backdoor slider. Right on the outside corner. One of those unhittable pitches. You think it's a ball because it's a slider, especially going around and catching. It's uh, outside part of the plate. Mike tonight 0 for 2, a fielder's choice, a walk and a ground up. Missed out of it. A two on count. Two one. Slider. And he hung up too. Cuts through and it's two two count now. Batting average 315 versus breaking balls. And that was great in the zone where Trout could do some serious damage to it. Got away with it though, C Shack on that one. Another 2 2. This is hit towards second. Cano is there. Two down. Well, Seattle has been trout pretty well in this series. Pools with great numbers. Three for four against Cishek for the home run. 0 for 3 tonight with three fly ball outs. It's a fastball for a strike. Slider, broken bad roller left side. Seeger with a diving stop. Gets up, fires over the oh, Holy. And the Halos are down in order. We head to the ninth. Seattle leads it two to one.
on Fox. For the first time in 33 years, number three Ohio State takes on number 14 Oklahoma. The action starts Saturday afternoon at four only on Fox. The Ohio State, our very own Terry Smith, graduate of Ohio State. Andrew Bailey takes over on the mound here the ninth. With Seattle up two to one. Bailey's done a nice job since uh, the Angels brought him up to the big leagues. This will be his fifth game with the Halos. No record, no ERA. Four innings, four strikeouts, one walk. He's picked up three saves. After struggling through the season with Philadelphia, former rookie of the year. He'll face Seeger, Lee, and Martin. For Seattle here in the ninth, barring any pinch hitters. Boy, Seeger, another outstanding defensive play. Good range, getting up quickly. That strong throwing arm he has to get pull offs at first base. He's made a ton of plays in the series and throughout the season against the Angels. Kyle tonight, one for three with a home run of the fifth. At that point tied the score up, one each. One and two. Remember, the only run the Angels scored tonight, or have scored, was in the third inning. With runners at the corners, it was a, a wild pitch that brought home Juan Gratterall. And a pitch that, if he asked Chris Iannetta after the yep. game, he felt he probably should have caught that pitch. Try by one. Great play by Brian Odor, the home plate umpire. Get out there and get in position to get with the line and see where that ball was at in relation to the foul line. <laughs> Lift it out to right center. Trout moving over. One down. First baseman, number 10, A. Hoagie. Day Ho Lee will come to the plate. He's one for one. Pinch hit in the seventh and had a single up the middle. First batter that J.C. Ramirez faced tonight. He went one and two thirds, giving up two hits, two strikeouts, one walk, no runs. It's a pretty good life on his fastball, Bailey. Cut fastball, slider's been good, curveball. Change up. <laughs> Mariner closer, Edwin Diaz, getting ready. One, two. Downstairs. Two balls, two strikes, and we'll get by uh, Gratterall.
Lifted out to center. Todd has to come in on it. Two down. So here's Martin with two outs and the base is clear. That's a cold foul. Yeah, good slow curveball. Martin out in front of that pitch from Bailey. A strike. Single the stolen base. A couple of strikeouts for Martin. The bottom of the ninth inning, the Angels have thrown Ortega and Pennington due up. They'll be facing Edwin Diaz. Did not go. Two one count. Martin Skies went out to Trout. Trout. Get all three put outs in center field. We will head to the bottom of the ninth. DJ Crow to lead things off with the Angels down three to one. At the bottom of the ninth inning, C.J. Crum will face Edwin Diaz, the fireballing right-hander, comes in to close things out for Seattle. Mariners trying to uh, close out the series with a sweep. And they will turn the ball over to the uh, youngster. This will be his 43rd game, only three months. He has been uh, locked down with 15 saves, 76 strikeouts, 76 strikeouts in 43 innings. Yeah, power fastball can rush that fastball. 94 to 99 has even touched 100. Nasty slider also. Pro, Ortega, and Pennington do up for the Angels. C. Sheck sent the uh, heart of the order. Calhoun trying to pulls down in order, including a strikeout. So CJ can get things started here. He's one for two tonight with a single and a walk. Sasha 
Masashi Wakuma, pitcher of record for Seattle. He went six and a third tonight. Sheen was very, very impressive tonight. Spot start for Tyler Skaggs. He gave up a run on three hits, one of which was a home run to Seeger. Six innings of work. No balls, two strikes. There's that nasty slider. First pitch fastball, 95, and that slider. Jack swing. They wanted to peel. He went around. One down. Cohen doesn't like the call. There's another one of his nasty sliders. Pretty close on this check swing. Let's see from this angle, see if he crossed the plate. Yep. Rafael Ortega, the left fielder, is 0 for 3. A couple of ground outs at the fielder's choice. One and oh. Challenge on a 2 0 fastball, 96. We'll take a look at the get on base, utilize his speed. Ortega! Two balls, two strikes. He does have a very good fastball, but it's slider is the pitch. He gets the majority of his strikeouts. Bouncer toward first. That is a fair ball. Lee will take it himself. Two down. The Halo's down to the last shot. Seattle will go home. Have an off day tomorrow, and they will begin a three-game set against Houston. Angels will stay here and uh, will welcome in the Toronto Blue Jays for a four game series beginning tomorrow night. Toronto has stumbled through the month of September. Angels all of a sudden playing good baseball at the start have stumbled here of late in this homestand. Longest homestand of the year. About two of three to Texas. On the verge of getting swept here by Seattle. Paddington skies one to shallow center field. Can tell Marte is there. Seattle sweeps the Angels tonight, the final two to one. And a story of this week, Ukuma pitched well once again for Seattle, but the power bat, Nelson Cruz, his 10th home run of the season against the Angels. Kyle Seeger, big game himself. Home run, outstanding defensive plays in Seattle with a big victory as far as their wild card chance to pick this one up. Two to one here tonight. Yeah, they pick up a game of the standings in the American League West. Now eight and a half back. And they pick up a game of the wild card. Two on the final. Stick around. Angels live. Post games coming up next.